Hi guys, I just thought I'd make a quick video going through the build process for my enclosure to house my pixel controllers um, for our Christmas light display this year. Now, this enclosure is going to be outside in the garden, and so I wanted a waterproof uh, enclosure. So, I've come up with and seen what some other people have used, which have been marketed as these ammo crates. Um, <clears throat> basically, what I want to put within this ammo crate is quite simple. Cut power supplies, a couple of Falcon four string differential receiver boards, which will receive the signals outputs from my um, Falcon controller. I've um, got a fan, and also, also a couple of vents to allow some airflow from the heat generated from the power supplies and we'll have a bit of cabling and um, possibly a, a distribution board on one of the builds but not this one so what I'm just going to do is just give you a quick rundown of the ammo box a quick layout of uh, this uh, video and then I'll go on about explaining how I've just gone about drilling holes etc pretty basic so what I am to do is to show you quickly just the ammo box. They're quite basic. Uh, they're just a plastic box um, with a nice rubber seal. I don't know if you can see around the outside, which seals up. I've have tested one of these outside in the rain, uh, just with some paper in it to see if it leaked, and it performed quite well with no leaks. Uh, just for those people that like to know dimensions of stuff uh, they are obviously all the build specs are on the website but just for your own curiosity inside diameter is about usable space across about 370 millimeters by about 360 and the depth is usable space of about 100 and about 180 millimeters what I am going to do for the base of my uh, enclosure, uh, it's going to sit flat on the ground. So I want to build it up a little bit. So I want to put standoffs underneath my controls in case any moisture got in there. So I've just got some MDF board, and hopefully you can see I've just got some strips just stapled onto the MDF which I've cut up, which will help locate into the grooves which are moulded in the bottom of the ammo crate so that'll sit there like such and that should move around so it's like sitting flat down on the ground um, if you did want to mount them up that way I suppose you could drill through the back and locate something in that way but I'm going to sit mine down flat because they're just going to sit in the garden um, I might just give you a quick run out rundown of my how I propose to lay it out. I'll just tilt him up a bit so hopefully you can see a bit better. Uh, going to run a couple of the uh, Falcon receiver boards uh, there and there at the front so the pigtails can come out to my elements. Uh, a couple of power supplies which will be stacked and I'll go and show you about how I'll go about that later on um, in there so it'll be 240 volt feeding through that side and there'll be some vents one at the back which will go obviously that way and one with a fan which will mount down this way uh, the reason why I've mounted and I mount my vents so in this direction where my house is located most of the bad weather comes in from this direction where I'm going to be mounting them. So I'm trying to eliminate as many holes as possible from the weather wind and weather rains, but hopefully around Christmas time we won't get any rain. Okay, so what I might do is mark some holes up. Uh, I've got some holes to drill, obviously, for the, for the vents. I think there are 60 mil. I've got to use some 
cable glands. Uh, those are just some 12 mil cable glands for the pigtails that come out from the four string controllers. And a larger gland for the 240 volt input. And I'll hopefully show you how they're about this during this build process. Thank you.